Take my hand, just remember you don't have to surrender to the ocean and the sea. There's forever and a day for you and me. Here's to the future, I'm feeling stronger. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Awesome Blue. Now, as you know, I often see black tip and white tip reef sharks, but this one right here is a sandbar shark. And he was just flying through here in the shallows. And I was lucky enough to actually have my GoPro set to the super slow motion mode. I need to be somewhere else to set me free. There is like no golf courses anywhere close to where I was diving here today. So I have no idea where this golf ball came from. I've actually heard of some divers who actually use a golf ball to test their spear gun's aim, but I haven't really tried that myself. So right here, I dove down and I was trying to attract a big goat fish that was just sort of over those coral heads ahead of me there. And he wouldn't come over to me at all. So I went back up to the surface and like right where I just was down on the bottom, two or three big milk fish just sort of glided past me down below. And you can sort of see him there, it's a little murky, but you can see him off in the distance. And they passed by me just a little too quickly, but thankfully, like a minute later, they came right back around again. So I acted super quick this time, and I went for the dive bomb. It can be hard to record stuff while you're spearfishing sometimes. You know, you're focused on reeling in the fish, looking over my shoulder for sharks like the one we saw a minute ago. And at the moment, I almost felt like I was beach fishing or shore fishing, you know, reeling in a fish from the shore. While I've never actually had a fish jump out of the water before after shooting it, watch this. I don't need to scale the whole fish, but I like to scale along the lines where I'm actually going to make my cuts so that I don't push any scales into the actual flesh. In a milkfish, there are 214 bones. And to give you a comparison, there are only like 20 or 30 bones in a salmon. And really, it's the 150 or more intermuscular bones that make filleting a milkfish virtually impossible. So to get all the meat from these fish, you really need to scoop it out. And my hack on scooping fish meat is to use an ice cream scoop. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon, side by side and through and through, no limit to what we can do. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life You and I can weather any storm Hey guys, so I'm on my way to Target right now. I'm actually going camping, so I'm going to grab some ingredients to 
cook up the milk fish with. I can't wait to make some fish nachos today with this milk fish. And like, to be honest, fish nachos doesn't really sound great to me. Like I'm not a fan of like cheese and fish together, but this milk fish tastes really, really neutral. And the other cool thing is because you scoop the meat out of a milk fish, the meat comes out almost like a ground beef or something like that. So it's almost like ground turkey, ground beef. So I'm gonna try cooking it up with some taco seasoning and see if it tastes really good with nachos so let's try it out so i put in like maybe a third of the fish that i have here that milk fish was so big and uh, a third of it is a lot. So it's gonna make a huge plate of nachos. I'm gonna have to save this for another time, but uh, it's looking good so far. Again, like when you cook this up, milkfish almost turns into like ground beef because it's like so soft and it's been scooped out of the, you know, out of the fish like that. So it's gonna turn into like a ground beef, ground turkey type texture. So let's see how it goes on nachos. All right guys, I kind of lost the light a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go in for first bite, but uh, these nachos look so good. And considering they're fish nachos, um, I'm excited to see how they taste. That is so good. I'm not kidding you guys, it's like supreme nachos, just like you'd have at a restaurant. There is no fishy taste to this at all. Um, really good use of a milk fish, of an ava. That tastes so good. That's really good. You know what guys, the ava, the milk fish, 
This totally works with nachos. And I'm sure it's just as good with like tacos or burritos. And my mouth has no idea that this is fish. There's no fishiness. It cooked up like ground beef. It totally has a ground beefy like texture. It's so good. So if you happen to catch a milkfish in Ava, um, I know they're really big in the Philippines. I think you call them bengus or something like that. Apparently they're one of the most popular fish there. Really recommend cooking it this way. So uh, I've also tried cooking it before. I've never done it this way, but I've tried cooking it as like a burger patty before. I've done fish cakes and those are good too, but this really took it to another level for me. So I really enjoyed this. If you guys want to see more, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you on the next one. If you like watching awesome go, hit subscribe and thumbs up too. Exploring the ocean, swimming with sharks, shooting big fish, hit it right on the mark. Channel, channel with your friends, watch every video till the end. Our passion spending time, finding different ways just to blow your mind. Are you ready? Let's go. Watch a video, let's play Chanel, how this awesome.